marijuana has been shown in studies to <clears throat> relieve the symptoms associated with multiple sclerosis. Symptoms like spasticity and severe central pain. The, uh, in some studies, uh, there's indications that marijuana might be useful to slow the progression of multiple sclerosis, which is a very promising um, idea given that multiple sclerosis often becomes a very degenerating neurodegenerative dis disorder where patients lose um, their ability to walk and other essential functions. So the studies that I'm talking about, the biggest ones were done with a marijuana-based extract that was made in a undisclosed greenhouse in England somewhere in the countryside. A company has grown marijuana and extracted it with, uh, into a solvent of liquid carbon dioxide. And using that solvent, using that uh, preparation, they've uh, given that preparation to large numbers of multiple sclerosis patients in, in clinical studies. And they, they give it to them over time and they, they compare it with a placebo and they try to see if they get improvements in their spasticity and their pain. Spasticity is a painful um, kind of muscle spasm or tightness. And it turns out that marijuana can, this marijuana spray was able to relieve the symptoms uh, of these patients so well, so effectively, that the national uh, governments uh, in England and in Canada have given that go government the, or sorry, given that pharmaceutical company the right to sell this marijuana spray as a treatment for multiple sclerosis related symptoms. It's stocked in the pharmacies and you can have your doctor prescribe it and, uh, and actually that's it, the number of countries that have approved this is growing. And it turns out in those studies that had been used with the marijuana spray in multiple sclerosis patients that uh, over a long period of time they were able to increase their dose if they wanted to or needed to to relieve the symptoms and over, over a year or more they never increased the dose of the medicine which indicates that their symptoms were stable and their disease wasn't possibly you could say that the disease wasn't worsening. So you can imagine that if a, if a spray works like that, it's certainly possible that a inhalation of the actual herbal material that the company has been using to make their product could also be beneficial for these patients. And that has been shown in a study in California uh, by a group called, uh, by, led by Dr. Corey Bloom. They recently published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal that uh, painful spasms can be relieved uh, with uh, using the smoke of marijuana as a, as a treatment. Um, that was a government funded study as well. So uh, there's all extremely ex exciting treatments that are on the horizon for MS patients and we already know that uh, it can be useful in their, uh, with patients who have that condition in, in really gold standard studies. So it's really a matter of finding out if we can slow the disease progression uh, and what kind of preparations will make the best difference for what types of MS syndromes.